Uh, Greg Abbott says he's going to arrest these people when they return. That's going to make that's going to make for some very interesting political theater. I am um, I'm I'm kind of curious about all that. And uh, by the way, uh, Hervis Rogers, we did raise the hundred thousand dollars for his bail. Hundred thousand dollar bail. He was not informed when he left prison that he couldn't vote because Rick Perry vetoed a law that would require the Texas Department of Corrections to inform people. Why would you veto a law like that? I mean, seriously, think about this for a minute. Why would a Republican governor veto a law telling felons as they get out of jail, or now ex-felons, as they get out of jail, by the way, you can't vote for the, you know, in this state until your parole is over, your probation is over. Why would he veto a law like that? because they want to make examples of people. They sent a black woman to prison for five years, Crystal Mason, for voting when, you know, after, while she was still on prob probation. And her vote didn't even get counted. Herbis Rogers, he was, he was the last guy in line. He, was, he got national attention because he stood in line for six hours to vote and he voted just an hour before he had to go to his second job. He worked, this guy works two jobs. He's been sitting in jail for a couple of weeks. While well, a bunch of people out there on GoFundMe are trying to raise you know, $100,000 to bail him out of jail. And like I said, I, you know, I kicked in 100 bucks. I thought, this, this, this is such an injustice. But it shouldn't be. They shouldn't have to be doing GoFundMes. This is, uh, by the way, Ken Paxton, the guy who's prosecuting Mr. Rogers, Ken Paxton, the attorney general for the state of Texas, six years ago was indicted for fraud, securities fraud. He's, he has an open indictment. He's been charged with a felony for six years. It has not yet gone to trial. He's essentially out on bail. The attorney general of the state of Texas, Ken Paxton, the, the fraud charge, quote, alleges that he, quote, persuaded investors to buy stock in a technology firm without disclosing that he would be compensated for it. He faces 99 years in jail if he's convicted. He's also under FBI investigation for, quote, using his office to benefit a wealthy donor. Former C senior aides to Paxton alleged, quote, Austin real estate developer Nate Paul helped Paxton remodel his house and gave a job to a woman with whom Paxton allegedly had an affair. This is the guy who's like the great moral center of Texas. This is the guy who's prosecuting these people. This is the guy who's going to prosecute these Texas legislators when they fly home and send them to and keep them in jail. Ken Paxton, really? The guy who had had an affair and and then and, you know and then basically got out of it. You know, helped his helped his buddies. His, 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 his real estate developer helps this guy out. I mean, really?